take you now to Hollywood Boulevard to show you the Hollywood Hotel. Then down the renowned thoroughfare of the world's film colony. And we see the life and hustle as we pass the theaters and many fine buildings. There is the Warner Brothers Theater. Movies. And this is the town that movies built. On Hollywood Boulevard. The city lights are twinkling. The sun is slowly sinking. Yes, Hollywood Boulevard. One of the most iconic streets in the world. Just one listen to the name evokes emotions and images of glamour. Movie premieres, tourists, and unfortunately sketchy characters. The heart of Hollywood became the epitome of movie premieres and events, especially in the golden age of Hollywood. But this street didn't always look so glamorous. There was a time where the street was just a dirt road like this. After Harvey Wilcox was subdividing and selling off some of his property, he wanted farmers and people who had similar values with him to develop this new place called Hollywood. The main street he decided to divide and make the main street in town would be Prospect Avenue. One of the first establishments in the small town on Prospect Avenue and Coenga Boulevard was the Sackett Hotel. The Sacketts, who consisted of Horace, Ellen, and their five children, along with $10,000 to their name, decided to move out west after hearing about land being subdivided in Los Angeles. Wilcox decided to give him some plots of land for free, as long as he can fix up and attract potential customers. With his experience in running a store, he decided to open a hotel and store to help fellow travelers. They sold eggs, cheese, crackers, boots. In 1887, the first post office was established right by the hotel. With these improvements came along the railroad. During the late 1880s, Moses Hazeltine Sherman was interested in electric railroads and decided to move out west. On April 11, 1894, Sherman and brother-in-law Eli P. Clark decided to place a trolley track. This new line would attract travel to the new land in town. In 1898, they created a new company, the Los Angeles Pacific Railroad Company, which helped connect railroads all over Los Angeles, which would help bring new transportation to the new city of Hollywood. The first electrical train came down on Prospect Avenue on January 27, 1900. With the new railroad, this would bring tourists from the east for a getaway and a vacation home. One of the first major tourist destinations was the house of French painter Paul de Longpre. This made more people want to come to the growing city and explore what they had to offer. In 1901, H.J. Whitley, Harrison Gray Otis, and George W. Hoover bought the land around Highland, Prospect Avenue, Coenga, and La Brea. They decided to develop sidewalks, sewers, and water mains. They also decided to make Highland Avenue a business district on the west side from 150 feet north of Prospect to Franklin. On the contrary, the east side from 198 feet north of Prospect to Yucca at the time equated the end of the tract. This not only made local businesses boom, but a business known as the movies also prospered. The first building to be on Highland Avenue is the famous Hollywood Hotel, as explored in episode one. In the next couple of years, Prospect Avenue will continue developing businesses and banks around it. After some hesitation and encouragement, Hollywood officially became a city in 1903. This made the government take notice with the increasing population. And in 1910, Hollywood became a part of Los Angeles, along with bringing in the increasing need of water and other necessities for its citizens as well as renumbering of the streets, with name changes for the main street from Prospect Avenue to Hollywood Boulevard. 